Hey there, it's Dave here from Crypto Tax Calculator. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can import your Kraken API into your account. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up Kraken. You can also just click this helpful link over here, which will actually take you directly to the API page, which I'll do first. And once that loads, you'll be taken directly to the page where you can create your API keys. Another way that you can actually get there is making sure you're first on Kraken Pro. And then on the far right, top right hand corner, you'll have the user settings little human icon. Click that and then click on the settings. And then up the top here, you'll have the tabs and you just want to click API. So that'll get you back to the same place that that link went to as well. Once you've done that, we're now going to want to create the API key by clicking this purple button up the top right here. So I'll click that. A little modal will pop up here where you'll be able to give the API key a name. So you don't have to do this or you can if you have multiple APIs and you want to keep track of them. I'll just give it the name CTC. Next is the most important part, which is where you're going to actually select the permissions that we're going to be using. So there's three that we're looking for in here. First one being query. Second one being query closed orders and trades. And the third one query ledger entries. So that's all you need to do on this page here, don't worry about any of the stuff below it as that will just cause problems or make the API um, last less time. After you've done that, scroll down to generate key and we'll click that. That'll then bring up this second modal here which will actually give you your API key and secret or as they call it a private key. Now what we're going to want to do is copy these and take them over to Crypto Tax Calculator. So I'll bring this first one over. And we're just going to want to paste that one up in the top here where it says API key. And then we'll head back to Kraken and grab the last part. Yep, we'll grab this private key one just down here. And we'll take that back to CTC. And paste that last one that they call the public key, in the private key, sorry, into the secret um, field just here. Once that's done, you can also give it an API nickname if you want to. So you, if you had multiple Kraken accounts and you want to separate them, you can do that in this section here. But I'll just leave this blank. And then click Add Kraken API. And we'll go out and pull in all of the transactions for that wallet and import them into your account. Okay, so once that's done, you'll be given this green sort of um, symbol here under Synced. And it'll tell you when it was last done. It'll show how many transactions were pulled in and it will give you the wallet balance here. So it's as simple as that to set up your Kraken API. If you are having any troubles with it though, feel free to reach out to the support team with this um, button just down here, and we'd be more than happy to help you with it. All right, thanks for that.